Hello all, in today's video we will study weighted arithmetic mean. Suppose you have started a new startup based on artificial intelligence and data science and now you want to hire an engineer from an engineering college or a fresher from an engineering college. So two candidates X and Y have applied for your startup. So in the campus interview you test them on six parameters that is statistics, machine learning, AI, dressing sense, singing and yoga. Both the candidates have scored, have scored marks as shown and the arithmetic mean on their average or their average score is 7. Now the question is which candidate will you select as both have scored the same average score. If you select candidate X then you will get a ca candidate who is good in extracurricular activities but poor in the key, key requirements that is statistics, AI and ML. So what is the solution that can filter out the best candidate for you? The solution is weighted arithmetic mean. In weighted arithmetic mean, weights are attached to each item proportional to its importance. Unlike arithmetic mean where we suppose that all the items in the distribution have equal importance. So now let us see the basic steps involved. In the first step, each item or value xi is attached to a weight wi. You will see more of this when you will be studying neural networks also. Okay. In the second step, each item or value xi is then multiplied with the respective weight wi. Then the total of x into w is obtained that is summation of xi wi and total of w is obtained that is summation of wi. Then by using the formula weighted arithmetic mean x w bar is equal to summation of xi wi upon summation of wi we get the weighted arithmetic mean. Remember this x bar with a subscript w indicates that it is a weighted arithmetic mean okay so in our example we will give maximum importance to statistics hence we will assign it a weight of 6 next we will give importance to ml and assign it a weight of 5 next is ai next is dressing sense we will give more importance to yoga than singing hence we will uh, will assign the next weight to yoga that is 2 and finally we will assign 1 to singing so, so the summation of weights wi we get as 21. Then af after multiplying the item value by the respective weights we will get summation of xi wi. Now applying the formula for weighted arithmetic mean we will see that candidate x has scored an average of 6.14 marks and candidate y has scored an average of 7.85 marks. Hence we will reject candidate x and select candidate Y. Thus we were able to select the right candidate for our startup using the weighted arithmetic mean. I hope the concept is clear. Now let us study three important aspects of weighted arithmetic mean. For easy understanding I will show all these aspects on an excel sheet. Now this is the excel sheet, I have written all the three aspects over here and we will get the weighted arithmetic mean over here, ok we will compare that with the arithmetic mean, ok. So now let us see the first aspect, the first aspect states that weighted mean gives the result equal to the simple mean that is the weighted arithmetic will be equal to the arithmetic mean if the weights assigned to each of the variate values are equal. So let us assign e equal weights to each of the values. We can assign any weights, uh, for our example I will assign a weight of 3. Now we will see what is the arithmetic, weighted arithmetic mean. So we, see, we can see that the weighted arithmetic mean is 7 which is equal to the arithmetic mean. So we have proved the first aspect. Now let us go to the second aspect. The second aspect states that it results in higher value than the simple mean that means the weighted arithmetic mean will be higher than the arithmetic mean if smaller weights are given to smaller items and larger weights to larger items. So in this we can see that these are the smaller weight, uh, items and these are the larger items. So we will give smaller weights to the smaller items. So let us give one and we will give larger weights to the larger items. 
So we can see that the weighted arithmetic mean which we get is 8.43 which is greater than the arithmetic mean. So we have proved the second aspect. Now let us see what is the third aspect. The third aspect states that if the weights attached to the larger items are smaller and those attached to the smaller items are larger then the weighted result mean results in smaller value than the simple mean. That means if larger items are given smaller weights and smaller items are given larger weights then the weighted arithmetic mean will be smaller than the simple mean. So let us do the same to the smaller weights we will assign higher uh, sorry to the smaller values we will assign higher weights and to the larger items we will assign smaller weights and we can see that as shown in the aspect property the weighted arithmetic mean is smaller than the arithmetic mean. Thus we have proved all the three concepts using the excel sheet. I uh, will be attach attaching this excel sheet in the download section so that you can play around with it. It is uh, more of a fun also and you will be able to learn and clear your concepts. That is all for today. In the next video we will study median. Thank you.